I mentioned a minute ago the association class. You can think of an association class as, a, as an association that has some class properties, for example, attributes. Or you can think of it as a class that has a, some association properties. Here's an example. If we have a company class and a person class, and we have some kind of association between them that a person has a job with the company, we might want to indicate what that person's salary is from that company. So this is not really a property of the person, because the person might have more than one job. It's not really a property of the company, because the company certainly has more than one person. It's really a property of the association itself. Association classes are indicated by having a dashed line that abuts into the association line. At the end of the dashed line is another rectangle. In this case, it's the association class called job. And in the class rectangle for job, there is an attribute of salary. Notice something else a little peculiar here, that job has an association with itself. This is called a recursive association. For recursive associations in particular, you'd better use role names. In this case, we're talking about the manages association. So one job might manage another job. The department head might manage the staff. And Therefore, we want to have roles for the boss or supervisor and the worker.